I think Black Girls Code empowers all of us. You wouldn't learn coding, web design, or app designing on a regular day, and it just gives you a chance to get a glimpse of what you can do. And it gives them a chance to feel like, oh, I'm all that. <laughs> It's absolutely imperative that we as a company do all that we can to figure out how we can make technology uh, more accessible to all the communities out there. The biggest thing that the girls got out of this week was a confidence in presentation and really owning the work that they did. So we decided to make an app called Get Green. I've done a lot of work and continuing to do a lot of work on women and the fact that women and men do not have equal positions in our society yet. They're working with these girls, they're, they're teaching them these skills, and they're, they're allowing them to build amazing things. I want to reach everyone. Hello, I'm Donna Nutt, and I'm a black girl who codes. I am Peter Clark, and I am a black girl who codes. Okay, thank you. So before we begin to tell you about all the wonderful things our organization is doing, we want to take a step back and talk about coding and why coding is important. Um, the US Department of Labor has estimated that by the year 2020, there will be 1.4 million computing jobs. As of right now, the U.S. is only able to fill just 30% of those jobs. So what does this mean for women of color? Women of color only make up just 3% of the computing jobs in the U.S. That includes Donna and I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but from our experiences, and I'm sure from many of yours, it's obvious that there's a lack of representation of women of color in these fields. Right. So Black Girls Code is literally what it says. We teach young girls how to code. So for us, however, it's more than that. It's the way we move into the future. It's how we do things, how we innovate. So we want to do more than just teach girls how to code. We want to empower them to boldly embrace technology as the builders and creators of tomorrow. So our bold goal is to teach one million girls to code by 2040. Thank you. So we've made great strides so far in accomplishing that goal. Within two years, we've served over 2,000 girls via chapters in seven different states across the US. We also have an established chapter in Johannesburg, South Africa. And due to all of this, we've received exp you know, different requests from various cities across the US. So, and just recently, we were honored by the White House for doing extraordinary work with kids in tech. So one thing that Peter and I are especially excited about is the recent launch of the New York chapter. And we have lots of exciting things planned, such as workshops, summer camps, field trips to tech companies, um, hackathons, and so much more. Ultimately, we want to help our girls build a network and support system that will carry them into adulthood. So we want to change the face of technology one girl at a time. We need to prepare our underrepresented populations and give them the tools and knowledge they need to better serve their communities and help lead us into a future that's going to serve us all. We can't afford, as a nation, to let a generation of students be left behind in this wave of innovation. If we want to succeed as a nation, we need to plant seeds, nurture, and develop these bright young minds. You mm -hmm. see, Donna and I were fortunate enough to have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so, this big and bold mission, we can't do it alone. That's why we're so privileged and thankful for the support from O'Reilly Media, Cloudera, and the Stratton Hadoop community. We look forward to all the possible opportunities, mentoring opportunities that we have coming to us. And, and again, we are BGC, and the world needs more black girls who code. Thank, thank you. you.